Thank you, William. Next speaker, please. Let's see if we can move through this quickly, folks. Give us your name, please. Jeffrey Wright. Good morning. Um, I'd like to speak against the Z78 uh, project. Um, first of all, I would like to say that I do respect the Collins family. Uh, it's right to get top dollar for their valuable property, and I think that common ground can be found between all parties concerned. I disagree in the strongest of terms with the Civil War Feature Survey conclusions on the Z98 Collins property prepared by the firm of R.S. Webb. I base this on 41 years of examining and studying surviving Civil War field fortifications and their location and the reasons for their location. I further base this, uh, as William Latham before me said, on the opinion of respected historian Swampy Johnson and Michael Schaefer. Um, and I quote, uh, without reservation, affirming that the site is in, qu uh, in question is the location of the main Confederate works. Um, I also base this on the late Bill Scaife, who was a noted historian, author, and map maker. Uh, his opinion on this property, uh, the map that he made, indicating that the main... Uh, battle line was right atop the target property that we're discussing. Uh, I also base this on the undeniable results of the 1998 EDAW map prepared for the National Park Service for the remaining traces of the Lost Mountain Brushy Mountain line and the Mud Creek line. That map indicates it's undeniable. It's right on this property. I further uh, disagree with the assessment of R.S. Webb on this matter based on what William went into great detail before me about the uh, Wilbur Kurtz handwritten notes. Uh, Mr. Kurtz was probably the most uh, authoritative person on the war in Georgia, dead or alive, that I can think of. Uh, you can't underestimate what he made in his handwritten notes. Uh, having some degree of knowledge on the subject, I've, I've never doubted the identity of these berm features on the Collins property. I've been stomping through North Georgia woods looking at old abandoned ro road beds Civil War, and Civil War features since 1975. I've looked at erosion gullies, fire breaks, agricultural terracing that were sometimes wrongly identified as Civil War trenches. These are Confederate Civil War earthwork features on this property. They are exactly where one would expect to find them, on high commanding ground with a rain-swollen stream between you and your enemy with skirmish or rifle pits at or near the bottom. But even if I were to concede that the main line of defenses were where the present-day Lowe's now stands, if I were to, this site would still have been an advanced defended position. It is just too commanding in relation to the surrounding uh, terrain not to have had it well occupied. These remaining earthworks are in fair to good condition, much like any uh, would be that has been subjected to agriculture or logging activity. However, the sites such as this one, once numerous, can now almost be counted on one's fingers that remain in this county. I believe that we should make a concerted effort to be good stewards of our remaining historic resources. However, in the spirit of compromise, many of us from the historic community have suggested the developer could acquire two half-acre lots off-site nearby with pristine earthworks on nearby Summer Garden Drive in lieu of saving any of the somewhat degraded earthworks on Z-98. Or with an earlier version of this project that eliminates all of the housing portion of the development on the north side, thus saving the best surviving earthwork remnants. So we have been willing to compromise. And uh, thank you for listening to my comments. Okay, let's have one more speaker. 